Hey guys, on software update 2022.36.2, .2, as you can see, there is a new energy graph. And finally, it's a lot better than the old one. So we're gonna go over it coming up. So this is the new energy graph for uh, your car and Model Y and Model 3. Um, and there's a ton more detail, which is a lot more, a lot better, and it's a lot nicer than the old one. So if you go to basically uh, down here to the, the dotted lines, if you hit that, then you can hit the energy graph, and this that's how it'll come up. Um, it's a lot more, like I said, it's a lot more data-driven. There's a lot more data to look at. So the old one here if at the top is if you go to consumption, this is the old one. And I have a tutorial I did a couple years on how this one works. So I'll link you to that one if you're curious on how this works. But let's go over this new one. So basically the way I think of this graph is kind of like budget versus actual. So since I work in finance, that's what we do all the time. So your budget would be like your, what the car is thinking the, you know, mileage should be. So like I have 211 miles left on my battery right now. So that's kind of where I come up with the budgeted number. And so on this graph, you'll see that as the hypotenuse of the lines. So so these like straight lines, that's what is your budget or what your car thinks your mileage should be. And then of course the green and the orange is actual. So if we look at the vertical lines here, the vertical lines are your trips. So every time you push the, you know, park button and, you know, put it into drive, push it into park, that'll be like one section here. So, I've, you know, I've driven like 41 miles and it's been a whole bunch of trips because I don't drive very far very often. So that's what the vertical lines are. And then of course, like I said, the green and the orange are the different colors. And so green, just like go, green is good. So basically like on this trip, we had green, so, um, basically what that means is you see the hypotenuse here and basically the green means that I did better than what the car thought I was going to do. So on that trip, let's say the car thought I was going to drive five miles, but in terms of energy usage, I only used four miles or something like that. So that's why it's green. It's above the hypotenuse. Now on the reverse side, this trip is orange. So basically, again, if we use the five mile example here on the hypotenuse, Let's say I use maybe seven miles of actual range. And so that's why it's orange. And so basically, like for me, for these, I know what these are. It's basically like me going to my parents' house and back. So you can, as you can see, the mileage isn't very far per trip. It's like 250, maybe 252 to like 240 whatever, 240 something, seven, I don't know. Anyways, and so the point is, the greens are me coming back from my parents house and they live on a hill a little bit so you know they live on a hill that i have to go up to get to so coming down the hill is green and going up the hill is orange obviously because you use more energy going up hills um so that's the actual graph here and as you can see here's the battery range so you know your total battery range at the top and then of course it goes down and then it tells you across here how many miles you've driven. So 41.5 miles consumed and about 42 uh, miles in your graph here. So that's how you can see the mileage consumption. And of course you can look at it here too. It's a little bit harder though. When you look at each section, how much you've used per, per actual drive. But this is a standard graph. Um, and then of course it tells you consumption, like basically where your consumption is being used. So in the driving consumption, I've used 30, 35.7 miles and that's 2.2 miles better, so it's green. So basically based on all that 35 miles I've driven, I've done better by 2.2 miles than what the car thought I was gonna do. So that's good. Climate, same thing. I haven't really used the climate that much because it's like October now, so it's a little bit cooler. Besides today, it's freaking hot. <laughs> um, but total, I haven't really on, since last charge, I haven't used uh, very much climate either. Battery condition, don't need it because it's not that cold. And then elevation, like I said, my parents' house live, they live up the hill a little. So basically I've used a little more overall um, in terms of energy because I have to go up that hill all the time. And then everything else is just everything else. They just pile it together. So this is going to be like using your app, sentry mode, things like that. And actually I'll show you on the park 
uh, screen what basically everything else is. So done better there as well. So um, overall, it looks like I've done better than uh, than what the car thinks and what it says. 0.8 miles less than estimated vehicle consumption. And so there's also these range tips here as well, which are kind of silly because a lot of them are very obvious, but I guess if you're a you know Tesla guru like me and every every other Tesla enthusiast, you're gonna know all these anyways, but there are a lot of non-Tesla enthusiasts, so this might help them. So this range tip, the only one that's showing right now is going uphill costs 13.4 miles and going downhill saved 12 miles since your last charge. So yeah, obviously you use more energy going up and you regain it in regen coming back down. So one other thing I want to mention too on this um, uh, screen here is this is the rated for the entire since you've last charged. And if you go to trip, then you can just see just that last trip. Um, so that's that. And then also since last charge, if you want to look at just a specific drive, like your current drive, you can just hit that and you can see basically it's the same thing, just one drive. Uh, so it's, it's one block instead of all of it. So that's how you can, you know, filter by that. Now, if we go over to the park tab here, so, you know, obviously drive is when you're actually driving the car and park is when the car is just sitting there. And so, this just basically just tells you where your where your energy is being used when the car is being parked. So this could be basically considered like phantom drain. Um, and so it's, since my last charge, like 40 miles ago, I've used 6.5 miles of basically phantom drain. So it tells you screen time is going to be probably the most. Oh, sorry. Well, that's a piece. Screen time is 1.6 miles. Preconditioning. So if we go back here real quick down to everything else, like I said, this is basically everything else. So screen time, conditioning was on the other page. Cabin overheat would be in everything else, sentry mode. Mobile app, summon standby, and vehicle standby. So <clears throat> as you can see, these are all the things that they, you know, calculate. So it's this is good for like, if you do have a lot of phantom drain, you can look in this uh, screen here and then you can make adjustments based on the data that you have. So vehicle standby, Probably not going to be able to touch anything there, but say if cabin overheat protection is like, oh, 15 miles or something, well, okay, you might want to turn off cabin heat protection to save you some battery so you don't have so much phantom drain, unless that's super important to you. Or sentry mode is the other one a lot of times where it's going to tell you, hey, you know, you've used a lot of energy with sentry mode, but, you know, if you park your car on the street or something, maybe that's necessary for you. So it all depends on your uh, situation and all that stuff, so... Uh, that's basically it. I think that's, uh, you know, hopefully that helped you understand how this graph works, um, the new graph, and it's a lot better, like I said, because there's a lot more data involved, and it just gives you, it, zero, it lets you zero in on where you're using a lot of energy so you can make adjustments to try to be more efficient if you care about that. So that's the energy graph. Hope that helped you, and thanks for watching.